Hey, today I'm going to show you how to create a quick and easy animated progress bar. And this is not a perfect solution, but it may work in your case. You'll just have to make your own judgment about it. But it's quick and easy and it works. So how this looks is if I go into the game, it looks like this. So what I'm doing is I'm commandeering the shield bar. So you can put a message up there that says progress bar, not shield. And, you know, people just going to have to learn to live with it. So as I cross this trigger, I get 10 points. See? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. It increments by 10. You could make it come up smoother and loop a value, but I think I got the 100. Yeah, so... So that's it. And then you can do, you know, whatever you want with it. But at least it's a progress bar and it looks good and it's easy to do. So just hang on and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so we're back and to get started with this, we're just in a blank island template and I'm gonna delete one of these spawners right here. And for this, we just need two devices. So one is just a trigger, which is, is a passive device and just sits in the scene. And then we're gonna need a HUD message device. And we'll just drag that into the scene. And there's just a couple settings we need to make on here. We can actually do quite a bit with this if we want. So the message is going to say, here is going to say progress bar. Down here we have a text color. So, I mean, just to match things up, we can make it kind of blue. On placement, we want to do custom. And then we want to anchor it to the bottom left. And the values that seem to work best for this were 125 on the horizontal and negative 150. And you could adjust those values to as much as you want. And then the only other thing you need to think about is how long do you want this to display? You can have it display the whole game. You can give it a really high value, but you might just want it to display for, you know, 200 seconds so that, you know, people get, you know, get used to that the shield is now the progress bar. And this may not work for your game if you need the shield. So that's the one caveat to this. This doesn't work if you need the shield. Although you could still have the shield, but not have a progress bar for it. So that's just a choice. But this is just a workaround until a better solution is developed. The other solution I saw for making a progress bar was a lot of work, and I didn't want to do all that. So this seemed the simplest, fastest way. And then all we got to do is do a verse device, make our verse device. So we'll come up here, left click, right click, add a new device. We'll call this progress bar 2 because I've done this already. And I don't want this to conflict with something I've already written. So that's going to come. And then we're going to open this up. And because I've already written the code for this to save time, I'm just going to go ahead and delete everything that's in there. I'm going to come to Notepad, get my code, come back in here. And then I'll just explain this real quickly. And then you can study it too and make adjustments to it. So we just bring in our modules. There we initiate our creative device. We create an editable for our trigger. Then down here, we subscribe. We make this value here because we, we need it out of... Down here, we have an incrementing. I guess it is an in incrementing function. So we want that value to increase. So we need to keep it out of here. So that's where we set it. And here, we subscribe to the set shield. So we need these four lines of code to get our player character. And then once we got our player character in my player reference, then we can set the shield, put a value in here, or we can make another function call. So here we make a function call to another function. And this is update progress. It's a float. It returns a float and it just increments each time it's called by 10. And once it goes over 100, then it maxes out. And that's all there is to it. It's pretty straightforward. I'll put this all this code on the screen. You see here's the modules, so you don't necessarily need to see that, but here's all the code on the screen at one time. And then once we're done with that, we can come back into Unreal Editor. We can build our code. And then we gotta get our creative device here and drag it onto the scene. And then we just need to pair it to our trigger. And then I can go ahead and launch the session and see if this works. Okay, so we're back and let's see if this works as expected. Now, why don't I see it? Let me go back. 
I'm sure I left off a setting on the HUD device. I, I did this once before. Do you know what I did? I didn't set it to... I'm always missing something. I didn't set it to spawn, uh, to activate, that's why. So, on player spawn. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, now we just have to go start game again. Okay, now let's see if this works. There we go. I think that's really cool, to be honest with you. So, and then if we come over the, this trigger device here, you see we have our progress bar and it's working as expected. And I think this is, even though you don't, it takes away from the shield. If it, your game does not involve a shield, then this would be a perfectly acceptable way to do a progress bar. So anyway, take care, have a great day, and I will talk to you next time.